Welcome back to Pew Data tutorial series and after diving into expression objects and if objects using the variables uh, I want to show another um, way of declaring the variables with uh, message boxes which also introduces sending messages and receiving them without patch cords. And this is very straightforward and I really recommend to uh, follow this path a little longer um, to orientate more on text-based coding um, routines also in pure data and um, it helps you to avoid patch cords and to minimize the number of objects you need and that helps you really really a lot to keep your patches uh, small and reliable and they are way you can overlook them way better and keep track of what actually is done and every other person looking at your patch will thank you a lot for a clear and understandable patch so let's have a look at declaring patches and avoiding patch cords. We do an expression object because we just use it as a demonstration purpose and we need a bang to start the expression. And we add a number box to show the result. And then of course we know we declare some variables. It's uh, variables first and then we declare a second one. Uh, let's, let's name it second. We copy and paste two more and we name them very old fashioned um, X and Y, like good old school math. So we can declare them by using a number box like this and like this, or we can declare them by using a message like this one. Well, let's make it 10 and another message. Uh, let's make it 100 and declare the Y. So if we declare them, let's say we go to one and two, three and send a 10 and click and send a 100. We can, of course, now do the expression and say first plus second plus X added to Y. And we get result one times uh, one plus three is four plus ten plus hundred. Oh, awesome math! So what I want to demonstrate now is that you don't have to fiddle around with all the single objects here, but you can use a message to transmit information. You remember the message box command two? It just sends information via the patch cord, but it can send wirelessly. There's one thing you need to know, and you have to start with a semicolon first to tell the message okay now you're sending things into the world very important semicolon and then you can go then you hit return and say okay first space will be two now and if you send this execute this message you don't see it but first the variable has now set been to two if we now um, shoot our expression, we see it worked. It gets one more than this. If we override it by this, like go to three, we shoot expression, you see it worked. And in this way, you can declare multiple variables at the same time. You do semicolon for a second row and say second will be not three anymore, but let's say 1000. We make it large to make it obvious. So if we process, we send variable first will be now two, variable second will be now thousand, others remain, we process and here we go. So next time we we'll say, okay, X will be another thousand and Y will be another large number. We set all the four variables and process and we go and we see oh the number box is too small and we remember right click properties einstellung go to eight okay and here we are the number box is now large enough to show the number or we use our beloved print to show what is happening this is a very very easy way to use for example simple preset storing because now you can just copy paste the message box and say ah that's my first preset 
And in the second version, I need like three here and maybe 0 0.3 there and maybe uh, x must be something to three and y is just zero. And then of course we can say set all the variables to this, execute, perfect, set all the variables to this, execute. And in this way, it's very uh, handy to just give several presets or initial values. And at the same time, a very important feature of pure data is the load bang. Here we are. And this one, just when you start up a patch, the first thing it will do is send out a bang here. So for example, if you start up the patch, the first thing what will happen is all those variables you declared will be set to this value. So erase this and erase this. Oh no, we keep it. So this is a very basic structure for your patch. You declared four variables. Then you declared two message boxes with like two presets. And this one with the load bang, those four values will be set initially on starting up the patch. And then becomes your patch, like this super simple expression. And when you start up the patch, you will directly be fed with those Values. If you want to change, go to a second box, it will feed those values and you get a new set of variables.